Hello everyone. So students, I'm very happy to have with us uh, Smith who have cracked NSCGS exam and uh, we will listen more about NSCGS exam and the ranks that he received and how did he prepare and so on. So hello Smith, how are you doing? Hello ma'am. So how are you feeling? Tell me. Uh, I am feeling somewhat nervous, yeah, but excited too much. Okay, I understand. So let's come to the point. Uh, so please introduce uh, about yourself, like from where do you belong to, what is your full name, and in which class are you studying, and so on. Yeah, uh, so I am Smith Bafna, uh, Smith Rahul Bafna, and I live in uh, Mumbai, Maharashtra, and I am in 10th standard, and I study in Holy Faith Hills. Okay, great. So, um, and, what, uh, was, what was your marks in the NSCGS exam and what was the rank? Uh, uh, as such, we didn't got any rank, uh, but my marks were 61 out of 120. Okay. So, you will be uh, promoted for the next stage. Okay. So, you will be promoted for the next stage. Yeah, for INJ, so, uh, INJ, so exam, second stage. Great, great. Good to know that. So, how did you prepare for an ACGS exam? So, yeah, like, uh, I was actually preparing for NTEC and I didn't know about any Olympiad. So, later what happened that four to five months prior to the exam, I got to know about this exam. And uh, since I had very less time, because what people do is, they study for 10 to 12 months and they have a huge span. So I had to cover an important, uh, only important topics like uh, for in biology, I had Vindya Mama and I, what I did was com uh, to be completely dependent on her and uh, she covered many topics like uh, genetics and mostly important topics like for biology, uh, only five to six were important uh, subject uh, topics like cell and uh, plant physiology and uh, I could say genetics, reproduction and uh, for physics I could say mechanics and optics or uh, electricity and magnetism and uh, what I did was uh, I analyzed the previous year papers and I uh, came to know that in chemistry only physical chemistry was uh, being asked and what other parts were did were uh, they asked of uh, very basic questions like I had to focus more on physical chemistry rather than doing that and I could see that maths questions were relatively easy because uh, this is junior science, right? And uh, in the all uh, physics, chemistry and biology part, I could say that they were ranging from uh, medium to difficult level. So I had to prepare for that and since I had NTC, I kept it at uh, second priority. But yeah, it was all, all over good. Great, great. So what do you find about the difficulty great. level? So, uh, is it very difficult or is it very easy so because in, people ignore it? Like some, some students, they uh, do not even write it. So please let me know. So yeah, if you are eligible for this exam and you, if you are really into sciences and want to make a career in science, then I could say this is the best opportunity. Because in terms of theory wise and concept wise, I could say 60 to 70 percent of concepts are related to your 9th and 10th and just have a uh, touch to 11th and 12th. And in terms of difficulty, yeah, I could say that uh, it is very difficult. Maybe it uh, touches a uh, neat level or JE mains or maybe sometimes maybe advanced or I could say that uh, in terms of difficulty, it is very difficult but if you want a career if, if uh, in sciences then I think it is a uh, really a best opportunity because what you get is you have a huge exposure to many students and real science so yeah that's what it uh, and 
And I would say this is maybe, the best example. Uh, that's in, why maybe people who have cracked such exams, especially the exams conducted by IAPT like uh, uh, INBO, uh, that is International Biology Olympiad and IJSO. So those students who have cracked these exams, they have high chance of getting into international institute like uh, MIT as such. So we have some examples as well. Uh, whoever cracked yeah. such exams, yeah, and uh, they are right now in MIT and uh, such institute. Great. So, uh, what are the books that you referred for the exam? So, I could say that uh, for NSCJS, there is no particular books or standard book which we can refer. So, uh, what I did was uh, actually made notes, and uh, since I had a uh, very few time, like I had very less time uh, compared for uh, requirement. So I just uh, referred some of the like for physics it uh, it was H C Verma and for biology you could use Campbell but not much. Uh, you should have a surface knowledge or I could say a superficial knowledge for that. And for chemistry eleventh or twelfth N C R Ts are better than any book. And for maths it is relatively very easy, so you can use any book up till tenth. That so, great, great. So, what is the common mistakes that will be done by the students while preparing for such Olympiads? Like what they do is uh, till eighth or ninth, they have many multiple targets. Like uh, they are preparing for NTAC, NSTAC, or uh, NSCJS or pre IMO. So what they do is they do not set their priority order likewise. They should set that uh, this is my first priority and whatever comes next will be my next priority. And if they are scheduling time likewise then they would get uh, results from each exam. But if they are not doing such then it would be not good for them. And secondly NSCJS is mainly about junior science. So you have to give uh, equal weighted to physics or chemistry or biology you have you uh, since I have seen many uh, children among us that what they do is they give more priority to some subject which they like so I could say that uh, each subject should be given equal uh, weightage because what uh, happens is they uh, feel that I want to pursue my career in this subject but for NSCJS it is required that you should have a proper time for each subject and uh, you should cover up each uh, each and every week area yeah, that's it. Hmm. Yeah. So I I am like literally happy because of whatever messages that you are giving, you no, know, I'm very sure that it is going to be helpful for the students. Like you know, uh, sometimes it is important to uh, you know get the messages from the students who cracked it recently. Like now, uh, whatever points that you are telling, you no, know, this is going to be the best points for your juniors, the one who is going to immediately write the exam. So good that I'm talking to you and uh, your inputs will be definitely helpful for the students. So what is your future plan? What you want to become and what you want to do in future? Like after 10th, 11th, 12th. So yeah, like uh, I am, want to pursue my career in engineering. Like I want to give GE and I don't have any so much future plans but for next two years I would target a uh, senior Olympiad like the physics Olympiad and chemistry Olympiad and yeah for JE only that's it. Yeah that is going to indirectly help for JE yes I uh, agree. Same with the students who ever want to uh, crack NEET they will also try uh, to uh, at least prepare for IBO. So that's how Olympiads will be helping true and uh, the last a uh, question I would be liking to ask, uh, what is the message that you want to give to your uh, juniors and friends who are preparing for such exams? Likewise, I would say that uh, these exams are, uh, you can see they are tough and difficult because selection is very less. But uh, having fear for an exam doesn't help you in cracking it. So if you want to start preparing, first of all, remove move all your fear that you have in your mind True. and secondly these exams are your benchmark for future yeah because you know, when you are preparing for olympiads you have an extra edge than uh, other students who started from 11th so you are starting it very early and even if you don't qualify you get a huge exposure and it, it will surely help you in your future exams or anything absolutely 
Correct. So, a lot of things uh, you uh, shared with us, uh, with me and with the students who were watching. So, thank you so much and all the best. Uh, good luck for your future uh, uh, plans and exams. So, thank you for watching students. Let's meet in the coming video. Bye-bye.